Hi everyone, good evening, welcome. Hello there, hi Rina, where are you? I don't hear you, Rina. Hi teacher, good evening. <laughs> good evening, Marisela, welcome. And, and Rina, there is no audio, I don't know why. No sound at all. Hi, Rafa. Good evening. Hi. Hello, Nehemias, Katia. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Hi, Rosie. Welcome. How are you? Hello. How was the weekend? Was it a good weekend? Yes. Yes. So, yes, so. A good weekend. And Nehemias, um, how did it go on Friday? ¿Qué tal fue? Le fue con sus cosas del, del viernes. Was busy. Uh, Good, bastante bien. You finished. Sí, es que fuimos a cenar después de la reunión. Ah, ok, it was a presential meeting. Sí. Ah, okay. well, I uh -huh. thought you had, I thought you had the meeting uh, <laughs> online, a virtual no, meeting. No, no, presencial. Presential. presencial. That's why. Ah, ok. All right, so Rina, now I hear you. <laughs> so you are on a soccer match. Hoy se fue al partido de fútbol. Yes. Y va a jugar también. Uh, ya, ya jugué. <laughs> ya. Ah, ok. Ok, Rina, welcome. Qué bueno tenerla aquí, aunque sea en el partido. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, that's good. So guys, I'm going to take the, the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance and, and then we continue. One moment. Um, okay, so we start with Daisy. Daisy Yesenia. No. Uh, Doris de Castaneda. It is Joanna. Jennifer Marcela. Jose Mario. Present. Thank you. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lizette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Eh, Mauricio Castaneda. Minet Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Present here. Thank you, Nelson. Nelson René. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you, René eh, Guardado. Rina Espinoso. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosy Meléndez. Present. Thank you, Vladimir Rodas. And Yanira, Yanira Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Zulma Lopez. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Zulma. I'm going to add you here. And guys, remember if it's possible, please activate the cameras. Please, if if you can, please send me a message and please let me know why you, you can so I can report it. Thank you. Okay, so we will start with the first activity. We will start with the first activity of the class. It is very simple. I'm going to draw something and you have to figure out what it is. Voy a dibujar algo y ustedes tienen que tratar de adivinar qué es. Okay, it's simple. And then somebody else is going to continue. Luego va a seguir alguien más. But I go first. Okay, so let me, let me see. I'm not very good at drawing, but maybe you will discover it. So if you have an idea, you can say what you think it is. Okay, do you have some ideas now? 
it a flower? No. No, it's not a flower. It's uh, orange. Orange? No. What? No. Pineapple. This is a carrot. Carrot. Ah, yes, a carrot. Okay, thank oh. you. Thank you for helping me. Okay, so now let's continue. Katia, can you activate the annotation tool? Puedes activar las anotaciones para que puedas dibujar. Mm, Do you know how to okay. do it? Estoy desde un teléfono. Ah, okay. And you, Nemias, do you know how to activate it? Okay, Nemias, so please continue. Okay, or Maricela, if you are trying, let's see Maricela and oh, Nehemias, I espacio para ambos, right? There's room for both of you. Okay, I'm so sorry, it's okay. <laughs> okay, pero qué bueno que sí puede escribir. Okay, so let's see Nehemias y luego continuamos con Maricela. We continue with you, Maricela. Do you have some ideas already for Nehemiah's drawing? Water. 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 Is that water, Nehemiah's? No. Alcohol. No, <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> Is it yes, a bottle? Katia. Ah, yes, Katia. Okay, thank you. So now let's continue with Maricela. Okay, Maricela, puede hacer su dibujo entonces, please? I'm going to clear the drawings. Okay, so now let's see if we can discover Maricela's experiment. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks, teacher, que no da ya a dónde borrarlo. <laughs> You're welcome. Watermelon. Is that a watermelon, Maricela? No. No. Okay. Ah, bueno, que ver cómo se dice. Ah, yes, teacher. <laughs> it is a watermelon. Yes, sandilla es. Ajá. Sí. Yes. It's a watermelon. Okay, cool. Que rápido. Okay, thank you. Is there anybody else who has the, the annotation tool? Hay alguien más que si sepa cómo activar las anotaciones? No. Daisy. Ah, okay, Daisy, si puede. Okay, so Daisy, can you continue, please? One, we have room for one more drawing. Try to draw something on the board. Rabbit. Huh? Rabbit. Mm, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think. Potato. Potato. 
es verdad que no necesariamente tiene que ser un, una fruta, una verdura. No, no. It could be okay. anything. Okay. This is an animal. It's a bone. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so it is an animal. Uh -huh. It's a bunny. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you mean a no. Ah, okay. Okay, you have good imagination. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your drawings. Okay, so we will continue with the class. I'm going to share the book in this moment so you can see what we will be practicing. Okay, we continue in unit number two. By the way, remember to continue working on section number two because on, on Wednesday, we finish section number two. Okay, so now the objective in this class is that you can use frequency words to talk about the frequency of activities. And you're going to study expressions to state urgency or comments. Okay, so in simple words, we will practice a little bit more Frequency adverbs, and we will learn expressions to say or to indicate urgency. Okay, so we have a question here. Okay, Alberto, what are three things you do in your workplace? Three things you do. It's okay, I, I walk. Mm -hmm. um, I speak uh, with my boss every time, every minute. And I check the camera and security. And you check the security camera. You can also call it the okay. surveillance, surveillance camera. Uh, for example, I check, uh, I check in, in, a smart, in, in a smart TV. Mm -hmm. Is the screen or the TV very long, big? No, no. very, very Small. long. Small. Oh, very long. long. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Nelson, thank you. And let's continue nice. with Rosie. What about you? Can you tell us three activities or things you do every day in your company? Uh, I feel product in my shelves. Uh -huh, on the uh, shelves. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Work or the orders. Trabajo los pedidos. Uh -huh. Y no sé cómo se dice atención al cliente. I give customer service. Customer service. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, Stacy. Rosie, I'm sorry. I just changed your name. Okay, and let's see you, Mario. Three activities that you do in your workplace. Uh, I check the emails uh, every moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I remember you read documents in English. You said right. Uh, anal analyze the materials for production. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I work. Uh, Cut mm. uh, the new products. What do you do with the new products? Uh, que trabajo cuota uh, cotizaciones ahí de, de productos nuevos. Mm, okay. Maybe you can say you can use the word check that you check the check new offers for new products. 
That could be one way to say it, that you check new offers for new products or information about new products. Thank you, Mario, for your information. Nehemiah, question number two. What is something you never do in your workplace? I don't hear you, Naomi. Yes. Ah, okay. I never, you. I never sleep in the world. <laughs> you never sleep. Never ever. Nunca, never, nunca ever. se ha dormido. Never. Ah, okay. Thank mm. you, Nehemias. And Katia, what about you? An activity you never do. Um, Katia, we don't hear you. I, I never play. You never play with your co-workers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be one. Zulma and you, one activity you never do? I never to travel. You never travel. I never travel. Mm -hmm. You never travel. Yes, thank you. And Okay, and last one last question. Rina, I don't know if it's possible for you to participate. Yes. Okay, Rina, what is something you never do? I don't hear you, Rina. You have to activate the microphone. Okay. Okay, I never use cell, cell phone in the work. You never use your phone. It is uh, prohibited. Uh, see, yes, mm -hmm. I never, uh, never play, you play the worker. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Rina. I appreciate it. Okay, and Joa, I just read the message. I understand just one question. Can you participate by chat with messages? Ah, oh, okay, just with messages. Okay, so if I ask you, you can send your message. Okay, send the message by chat. Okay, so here we have a little paragraph that we have to check and correct, okay? Correct the wrong ones or incorrect sentences. Some of you are going to read it, okay? And then we will check it. It says, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Okay, now we start with Jani. Jani, can you read the paragraph, please? Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Voy a agarrar el librito. Hello, my name is John Wilson. Mm -hmm. I work in an office. I am a woman resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and tell to potential. Employees. General, employees. Employees. General, mm -hmm. he attend meeting in the morning and not so often in mm -hmm. the afternoon. 
-hmm. In my company, we always had events. We had to attend a conference on July 21. And then we have to attend a many about the conference on July 22. I am always busy. 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 Okay, thank you, Jenny, for helping us. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation of, of the words that I'm highlighting. Okay, so human resources manager. Human. Mm -hmm. Resources. Resources. Manager. Manager. Uh -huh. e employees. Employees. Generally. Employees. Generally. Mm -hmm. Generally. July. July. 21st. 21st. First. First. Uh -huh. And this one, 22nd. 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 And the last one here, Johnny, events. That is a pronunciation. Okay. Events. All okay, right. events. Thank you, Jenny. And now, Rene, can you read it again for pronunciation matters, Rene? Please. Are you there, Rene? Yes, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, okay, give me a second. Okay. Um, Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and now so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always, always have events. We have the attendance at conference on July 21st. And then we have the attendant attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, very good pronunciation. Thank you, Rene. And Nelson, one last time, Nelson. Nelson, René, can you read it, please? One, one more time. Okay. Hello, my name is Johnson, John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and tell, tell to potential em employees generally and attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In the company, we always have events. We have the, to attend a conference all on July uh, 23rd and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. Good pronunciation. I'm going to, to mute you just to tell you this. Can you please repeat this one? Human events. Human events. Um, now you can unmute yourself. <laughs> Just activate the, the microphone again. Okay. Human. You. 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 Human. Um, it sounds it sounds like this. You. Something like that. Human. Human. Uh huh. 
Okay. That is like the pronunciation. And oh. this one here, events. Events. Yes, that's oh, the pronunciation. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you Nelson. Thank you. Now here we have some, some statements that we have to say if they are true or false. Correct them if they are incorrect. Okay, Joa, you can send it by chat. John, Johanna and Marcela. Number one, is this correct or incorrect? His name is John Wilkins. Is that correct? or incorrect? Joanna and Marcela. Joa, you can send it by chat. Marcela, you can tell us. Incorrect, teacher, because his name is John Will, uh, Wilson. Wilson, uh -huh. his last name is incorrect. It's Wilson, thank you. Okay, now let's see Rafa and Rosie. Number two, <clears throat> he writes reports every day. Is it true or false? False. It's false. Why? Uh, he uh, attends meetings. He attends meetings. Okay. And yes, Rosie, what was your comment? She check emails uh, for the company because he checks emails mm -hmm. so it doesn't say anything about reports right so yes this one will be false and yes thank you Nehemiah. daisy and nelson nelson alberto nelson alberto okay Number three, he never answers the phone and talk to customers. True or false? It's false. False. Why? Because uh, I see always answer the phone. Because you see that it says that he always answers the phone. Okay, thank you, Nelson. And Daisy, do you agree? Daisy, this is not here right now. Okay, but yes, it is correct. It's false. He always, always answers the phone. Thank you, Albert. Next one, Mario and Nehemias. Number four, he often attends meetings in the morning. True or false? It's true. For you, it's true. Why, Mario? Because I attended me in the morning. In the morning, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. And then, false. yes? It's false. Why? Uh, he attend meeting in the morning and not too often in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, the, and the, the statement, it's about the mornings, about the mornings. So it says that in the mornings, he generally, generally okay. can be used as often. So I would say that it's true, Naomi has generally, generally, like usually, often, and not so often, like rarely, in the afternoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon is not so common. So number four, true. Okay, then Katia, Katia and Jani. Number five, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. True or false? False. Why? Why is it false for you? Porque dice que atiende often, no, no sé cómo decirlo. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, it says not so. No, not um, so often at a meeting, ¿verdad? In, in, an, in an afternoon. 
Okay, Katia, thank you. Jani, what is your opinion? Uh, correct. Correct. True. Sí. It's true. Uh, never... be, because, uh, because uh, not so often in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So not so often, Jani, would be he does, but it's not very common. So this one, this one is false. Because it's like hardly ever. Some like very minimum times, but he does it. So number five would be false. But Una thank pregunta. you. Aha, just got. In an, in an test, eh, yo le puse como true. Number three. Uh-huh, que él never answer the phone. Uh-huh. And, and tell to customer, uh -huh. Porque él dice que él contesta el teléfono, pero ahí no lo entendí porque dice que habla con, con potenciales employees, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero en la pregunta dice que, que uh -huh. tell con customer. It's true. This sería verdad o falso? It's, it's, uh, let me see. It's false because he, yeah, it's true. Here it says employees, not to customers. Siempre es false, pero es porque no habla con, con customers. He talks to employees. Sí, sí, está falsa. Mm -hmm. Es falsa. Because, uh -huh, okay. because he doesn't talk to customers. He talks to employees. Uh -huh. So that is why. Pero dice que... Ah, que no lo dice, yeah, yeah. ¿verdad? No mm -hmm. lo dice tampoco. So, mm -hmm. como sí, no sí, parece... Sí. Podría tal vez ser true, porque no está ahí. Pero, uh -huh. basado en esto... Will be he always answer the phone and talk to employees, not to customers. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. Okay, Katia. So let's continue with Maricela and Zulma. Number six. He usually has events in his company. What do you think, Maricela and Zulma? Well, Sorry, can you repeat, Sulma? False. Ah, okay, false. Why? Porque dice que siempre, always have events. We always have events. Yes, Sulma. Thank you. And Maricela, what is your opinion? It is false. Uh, because in the... This say we always have events, no key. We always, uh-huh, that is why. Okay, and then we continue with Rina and Rene. Number seven, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Is that true or false? And Rene? What do you think? Well, in the statement, it says that he needs to go to the conference, but, uh, but um, it's false because he said that he needs to attend a meeting about a conference. A meeting about a conference. Yeah, because mm -hmm. he attend a conference on July 21st, but mm -hmm. he attends on a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. So it's not so a conference? So the conference was, mm -hmm. yeah, it's the conference amazing. was on July 21st. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, thank you. So last one will be false. Okay, now we continue with, let me see, Alberto. Alberto, in this paragraph, can you please tell me where the, the frequency adverbs are? Puede mencionarme los, los 
adverbios de frecuencia que ve ahí, Alberto, please. How many are there? ¿Cuántos hay? ¿Dónde están? I don't understand. I don't understand uh, tell me words that express frequency. ¿Cuáles son las palabras que están expre expresando frecuencia en ese paragraph? For example, mirroring. Meeting. Attend. Attend meeting. In another one. Otra. Algo que exprese mm. frecuencia. Eh, work. Work. Mm, no, creo que ajá, quizás la palabra. Uh, give me one moment, Alberto. Yes, Rosy. Every day. Ajá. Esas. Estas expresan frecuencia, Alberto. Yes. Thank you, Ross. Ve otras así, Nelson. Can you see other ones? In the morning. In the morning. Mm, another one. Generally. Oh, always. Uh -huh. Always. Hard. Always. Yes. Always. So often. Usually. Uh -huh. Not so often. So often. Correct. So these phrases are expressing. Am I missing any? Se me pasa alguna. No. Those words express frequency, Alberto. Esas palabras son palabras de frecuencia. Always, generally, every day, not so often. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. So there we have them. So now, guys, it's your it's your turn. You have to create one paragraph similar to the one you see over here about your activities. About your activities and use frequency expressions and frequency adverbs. Por favor, creen un párrafo similar a este donde mezclen expresiones y, y palabras. Cuando hablamos de expresiones, estamos hablando de las de every day, eh, from time to time. Y también las otras que veíamos last week. Se las voy a enseñar really quick. The ones that you see over here. Um, on page... When, okay, these ones, frequency. Aquí están los adverbs. You can use adverbs, pueden utilizar estos, o los otros que son expressions. Okay. The minimum, como mínimo de palabras, 30, okay. Por lo menos 30 palabras en su paragraph. 30 words. 30 words. Do you have a question about the activity? Is the activity clear? Do you understand what you have to do? Yes? Okay. Now, right now, you don't need to send it. Just do it on the notebook. Ahorita no lo tienen que enviar. Lo vamos a utilizar después. Por ahorita lo pueden tener en su cuaderno. Just send me a message when you finish. Okay, just send me a message when you finish your paragraph. We are going to use it later on. And if you want to read the instruction again, this is the instruction where it says writing. This is what we are doing right now. Based on the reading, write a similar paragraph about what you do at your job. That is what you are doing. And minimum 30 words, 
on that paragraph.
Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Has anybody finished? Eh, okay. Okay, Mario, no, not yet. Okay. Eh, don't send it yet because we are going to use that paragraph in the next mm -hmm. hour. You finished, Rafa. Okay. Yes. We will wait. We will wait a moment for your classmates to finish. And please, guys, send the message. Send the message when you are done. Okay, so in let's wait two more minutes. Okay, let's wait two more minutes and then we continue. For the ones who already finished, let's wait two. Two more minutes for your classmates to finish and then we continue. Finish the chat. Okay, Rosy, thank you. We will wait one, one more minute, and then we continue at 8.50. Okay, everyone, since most of you already finished, we will continue. If you haven't finished, you can continue later on, okay, later on. So for now, we will continue with an activity. I sent a worksheet in the group on WhatsApp. I sent a worksheet. We will continue with that activity. I'm just going to open the, the worksheet here to give you the instruction, the guidelines, and then I'm going to divide you so you can continue practicing with the worksheet. Okay, now, now I have it. Okay, so we will continue with a comprehension part. It says that you have to read this little paragraph and then you have to answer the questions. You have to say if it's true or false. <clears throat> and part number two, you have to match them up. Match, it means that you have to connect, you have to connect the frequency adverb with the sentence. So que tienen que marcarlos o conectarlos. Okay, so that is the second part. And the first part, you have to say if it is true or false. I'm going to divide you right now and we will continue uh, checking that in a moment. 
so let me see. Okay. Okay, so Katia work with Nehemias and Marisela, and then Zulma work with Daisy and Marcela. Next, we will have Jani, Rosie, and Mario. Group number four, we will have Alberto, Rafa, and Vladimir. Next group, group number five, René, Rina, and Nelson. Uh, do you want to work by yourself, Joa? Can you work here? Because I know that you're not feeling well. Okay, so please open the room. Uh, Joa, I didn't send you anywhere because I know that you can't speak right now. So do it alone. Do it by your own and stay here, okay? And if you need me, let me know and I'm going to, I'm going to come back and help you out. So I'm going to leave you alone because I, I will go in and check your, well, check on your classmates, okay? I'll go in a moment. Ahorita voy a adentrar aquí al, al este los adverbios, o sea, vaya, por ejemplo, en la primera parte donde dice true, si es verdadero o falso, y dice hay que leer, dice, uh -huh. y, y vamos a leer ahí a I, I always go to cinema on Sunday morning because entonces a la par donde está A, B, C, D, E, E, allí vamos a ir, eh, allí dice, I go to the cinema on Sunday, si es falso o es verdadero, es, lo vamos a contestar de acuerdo al párrafo que tenemos a la par, por ejemplo, el primero dice que siempre le gusta ir al cine todos los Sunday y el domingo, ¿verdad?, por la mañana, entonces yeah. la primera pregunta si I go to the cinema, que si le gusta ir los domingos, ahí vamos a ponerse verdadero o falso, Ah, que okay. en este caso sería verdadero, ¿verdad? Vaya. La A. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just here, just visiting to see if there is something I can help you with. No sé si hay algo en lo que les pueda ayudar. Any comments or questions? Eh, no. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, solo lo que ella dijo, ¿verdad? Que solo vamos a responder con verdadero o falso. Uh -huh. De acuerdo ¿verdad? al párrafo, ¿verdad? Yes. And sí. then there is a second part. Recuerden que hay una segunda parte. La segunda y la segunda parte, parte uh -huh. que dijo que vamos a como a unirlo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. The, la, the frequency adverb con la oración. Uh -huh. Yes. That is what you okay. have to do. Ok, ¿alguna otra duda? No. No, ¿en you, Jani? ¿O Mario? No, teacher. No. Ok, no, so teacher. I'm going to let you continue. Okay, and see you in a okay. moment. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hola. Are you doing well? Sí. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Tienen alguna duda? Any questions? Solo en la número B eh, lo vamos a tomar literalmente. 
porque dice verdad el párrafo que sometimes I go with my parents, verdad. Entonces y en la, y en, y en la pregunta, verdad, en la, en la sentencia dice sometimes go with my friends. Entonces sería uh -huh. false. Uh -huh. Yes, porque en la frecuencia, si ustedes ven el, la gráfica del libro, sometimes en uh, usually, usually es más seguido. Usually mm -hmm. es más seguido, así que, ajá. Uh, it is mm -hmm. good to do that. Okay. okay, so in that case, I have to close the rooms in this moment because I have to take the attendance. So I'm going to take you, I'm going to um, send you back there, but we will be back after I take the attendance, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So let's go back there and then we will return. Okay, sorry, solo yo me quedé allá. Okay, so I just need to wait like 10 more seconds for the other ones to come back here. Okay, now all of you are here. Sorry that I brought you back, but I, I have to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance and then you can return to your room. Okay, so we will start with Daisy. Daisy, Yesenia, are you here? Daisy, oh, she's not here yet. Oh no, she's not here yet. Sorry, I'm going to take the attendance. Daisy, Yesenia. Can you please say present? Is it? Present. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Doris, Doris Castaneda. It is Joanna. You can send it by chat, Joa. No problem. Okay, and then Jennifer Marcela. Present. Hi, right. Jose Mario and Katia Gabriela. Oh, I'm present. Present. Lisette del Carmen and Maricela del Carmen. Mauricio Castaneda. Minette Rivera. Nehemias Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Present. Present. Rafael Antonio and René Guardado. Present. Present. Thank you. Rina Espinosa and Rosy Melendez. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Rodas and Janira Cepeda. Present. Present. And Present. Lopez. Thank you. Present. Okay, sorry. So you can go back to the room. Teacher, I don't know listen my name. No, no lo dije. Creo que sí, pero bueno. Maricela. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ya la agregué ahí, Maricela. <laughs> Marce, ¿cómo van? Ya habían terminado. Sí, ya habíamos terminado, teacher, pero me iba a meter y se me desapareció la pantalla y no sé cómo meterme otra vez. <laughs> ok. Te enviaré a otro room. Y luego te enviaré la invitación para el que es. Let me see. Mm. Mm.
Daisy, tú también estabas en el otro room, ¿verdad? Sí, estaba conectada desde el celular. Voy a ver si te envío ahorita la invitación. Puedes verla. Eh, no. 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 Ya no. Y no me aparece tampoco para enviarla. Pero ya habían terminado, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Ah, bueno. Solo vamos a esperar quizás que vengan. Okay. Yes. So, who do you live with? ¿Con quién vive, Daisy? Who do you live eh, with? Uh, con mi esposo. Ah, ok. Just with your husband. Solo con él. Sí. Mm, ok, cool. And right now he is watching TV. Él está viendo ahorita TV. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Solo con él y nuestra hija, perdón. Ah, ok. You have a dog. What is the yeah. name of the dog? Uh, Dara. Dara. Oh, okay, that's a nice name. How long have you had it? ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Cuánto tiempo la han tenido? Pero eh, es menos de tenerla. Uh -huh. eh, casi eh, seven months. Seven months. Oh, ok, está baby ahorita, ¿verdad? Chiquita. Ah, ok. What breed is it? ¿De qué raza es? Eh, es una mezcla de pastor alemán con chau chau. Mm, ok. Estoy tratando de imaginarlo como es, pero no. <risa> pues fíjese que tiene, ella ya tiene más de, de pastor alemán que de chao chao porque no es muy peluda. Ah, ok. No es peluda. No es tan peluda. Ah, uh -huh. ok. That's nice. Tiene una picture. Sí, parece más pastor alemán que chao chao. Ese fue el que predominó, el gen que predominó. Ok. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you had finished. We're going to check the answers. Okay, we will check the answers right now to see if we have the same. Ok, so we will start with Vladimir. Vladimir, hello, by the way. We haven't talked Hello. much. <laughs> uh, Vladimir, what do you have on the first one? What does your group have? Is it true uh, or false? True. It's true. Mm -hmm. they, yes. They go to the cinema. It says I always go. Yeah. So we go with true. Oops, that's not the one. Okay, thank you. And then let's continue with the next group. Let me check it here. Okay, Katia, Marisela, and Nehemias. What do you have letter B? I sometimes go with my friends. Sería false. False, yes, because it says here, I usually, right? Not sometimes. Okay, thank you. Then, Joanna, what do you have on number three? Are you there, Jo? Oh, sorry, I know you can't speak, but I'm going to wait a moment so you can send it by chat. In the meantime, we continue with the next one. Okay, Rene, letter C. I go with my parents every time. Is that true or false? Uh, it's false. It's false. I go with my parents and wait, I usually go with my friends, but sometimes I go with my parents. 
Why do you why do you think it's false? Um, because uh, she mentioned that he usually go with his, his friends and sometimes with the parents. And so when the statement says that is every time, it's not true. It's like Since always. It's sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you, Rene, and your group. Okay. Now, Marce, what do you have on letter D? I don't buy sweets at the cinema. False teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And okay, here it is. Because she doesn't or he doesn't buy sweets at the cinema. She takes them with with her. Okay, next one, letter E. What do you have about that one, Jani? I take a drink from home. A uh, false. False. Yes, correct. And then the last one, I get popcorn every time I go. So can you help us with that one, Zulma? The last one there. False teacher. It's false. Okay, thank you. And, okay, let's see, let's continue. Joa, can you help us with the first one? where it says match them up, always. Maybe you can send it by chat, number one, and then I'm going to check it out. Number two, usually. Maricela, which one did you connect? And this, I go swing only if I have nothing else to do. It is sometimes. Okay, sometimes with this. Yes. Ah, okay. All right, I understand. Okay, Maricela, thank you. And you guys, do you have the same? Los demás grupos, do you have the same? Okay. And Joa, am I correct always with this? I go swimming a lot. Así es como la, la entiendo. Yes. Okay. And the other ones, do you have the same? Los otros grupos? Or do you have something different? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three para. Mm -hmm. Con number three, ¿la tiene? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So let's put it here where it says, I go swimming every chance I can. That one sounds better there. Okay, then usually, let's continue usually with- I go swimming a lot, but not when I have extra, uh, no extra homework. With usually. number four. Okay, yes. Number and four. And the last one we will have never, right? Never with I don't. Swimming. Okay, you did an excellent job. It was very good. Vamos comprendiendo mejor las frequency adverbs. Do you have questions? Besides? Are there questions about, about it? No. Okay, so let's talk about uh, phrases to indicate urgency. First, I'm going to share with you the book. And I'm going to, let me just go to the right page. Page 25, that's the one we will check. Okay, so I'm going to read the conversation and then we talk about expressions to state urgency. It says, I really need that memo free. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important right away. Okay, that is the, the short uh, conversation we have here. We will read it one more time. Okay, Mario, can you be Mark and Nehemiah's Brie, please? 
I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Right away. Right away. Thank you. So talking about that, I'm going to share the whiteboard and I'm going to share with you some expressions that we can use, okay? Expressions to indicate urgency. We can use, I really need, the one that you see on the book, that is one. I really need, or it's very important, that is another possibility. One moment. Uh, okay. Then we have this. Okay. And here you have other expressions. Just a moment. Okay. All these phrases that you can see here are expressions that we use when something is urgent. Some, we need something fast. We can say, I need it now. I need it immediately. I need it yesterday. I need it as soon as possible. And there is an abbreviation that is very common, S A S A P, as soon as possible. This is a common, a common abbreviation that people use on emails. Esa abreviación es la abreviación de as soon as possible. Es bien popular. Tal vez algunos de ustedes ya lo han visto. Hay alguien que ya la haya visto? No. Yes, teacher. Ah, you have. Okay. So you do you use it, Rene? Have you ever used it on your email? <laughs> yeah, I use it that one a lot. Uh -huh. It's very common and a lot of people use it a lot. It's a very common word. And uh, this is, it a, is. Uh -huh. I I think because um it sounds urgently but no rude. So mm -hmm. Like, I needed that one immediately. It's something like, wow. Mm -hmm. Very but, urgent. But this that's one. That's right. Yeah. But if you use it's more like kind of polite to say, you know what? It's really important to have it that one right mm -hmm. now. So please get it that one as soon as possible. So, some point, correct. You know, it's, it sounds less rude that you say immediately or I need it now or I need it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. That one, my boss saying me once. <laughs> I needed uh -huh. that one for yesterday. I was like, okay. Uh -huh. Like, like uh -huh. hurry up. Correct. Yeah. So yes, I That's agree right. with you. This one sounds sounds professional, like urgent, sounds but at the same time, it's polite. And yeah. this one, it's also good. The sooner, the better. Es como. Mm -hmm. Entre más rápido, mejor. The sooner, the better. Mm -hmm. Guys, do you have questions about the, the expressions? ¿Hay alguna expresión que no esté muy clara? No comprendí. Which one, Maricela? I needed it as soon as uh, As soon, soon significa pronto. Soon. Entonces es cuando uno necesita algo lo más pronto posible. Pero la mayoría utilizan esta abreviación que viene de as soon as possible. Estamos abreviando eso. Entonces lo utilizamos en el mensaje para transmitir urgencia, que queremos algo lo más rápido. Uh -huh. Así como este que mencionaba René, I needed yesterday. No es que esté mal gramáticamente hablando, sino que, ajá, sino que es para transmitir que uno quiere algo urgente. Ya, 
Aha, okay. So you no. can use those expressions. Yes, Katia. Uh, the, the teacher. Aha. Eh, Katia, ¿o quién es? Okay. No. Yo. Aha. Sooner sería como en futuro. No, no. Cuando uno le agrega, cuando uno le agrega er a los adjectives es como decir more. Es como que yo diga fast y está faster. Entonces, es como decir more fast, pero en inglés se le agrega la e y la r. Entonces, aquí es como lo más pronto posible. Lo más pronto. Y este solo es pronto. Soon, más. Igual se puede utilizar solo soon. Ajá. I need that paper soon. Or I want the paper soon. Y también expresa urgencia. Okay. Uh -huh. Gracias. Yes. It, was it there anybody else? No sé si había alguien más que había, quería hacer una eh, pregunta. Ah, Janice. Sí, sí, sure. Ajá. sí solo eh, me dio una curiosidad con la palabra eh, ASAP, la, abrevia, la uh -huh. abreviación que dijo usted que es este, como eh, bien común. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, digamos, si alguien quiere utilizar esa palabra como en un correo, o sea, mm -hmm. es válido, o se puede usar en cualquier momento. Yes, yes, you can use it on emails, or you can say it too. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. sí. Both ways. Eso era todo. Okay, Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Marisela, do you have a comment? Uh, for example, um, I need the, um, the report as up. Podría ser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you guys think about examples? Podrían darme una oración con un ejemplo? I will give you some. Voy a empezar yo. Okay, and then you can give me some. I need your homework. Eh, Immediately. Immediately. Or, <laughs> I'm going to use practical examples. No son indirectas, okay? Solo son ejemplos prácticos. Okay, so, I need section two of your platform. <laughs> platform. Uh, as soon as possible, ¿ok? Y ahí está ya con estado de urgencia. No son indirectas, ¿ok? Solo son ejemplos <laughs> prácticos. ¿Ok? So, can you give me one example, please? Donde ustedes ya lo usen. The expressions. It's very important. Sería, eh, uh -huh. se las vamos a decir. Puede ser así o las pueden escribir. Pero sí, si las pueden decir, ayudan a todos sus ejemplos. ¿Ya la tienes, Katia? Sí, se Ajá. me ocurrió. Yes. I need money immediately. 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 Yes, a Inmediate. good example. Creo que todo el tiempo estamos en estado de urgencia con eso. So it's, it's a good idea. Ok, thank you. Marisela, are you ready? Eh, antes. ¿Cómo se dice antes? Before. Bueno, before um, you say, eh, I need a report to Pulcher yesterday, decía mi jefe. Or, ah. I, or I need a um, repuesto, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, ¿De qué es? Puede ser un replacement. A replacement. Ah, eh, eh, replace. Todo el tiempo era caer de urgencia, entonces esa palabra ya está como que bien familiarizada. Ya. No era para ir. Pero no traumada, Marisela, de tanto irlas. No. No. Hmm. no okay. Okay. I said the word by chat, Marisela. Excuse me, teacher. 
I sent the word in the chat. Ahí le envié la palabra replacement. Okay, Rosy, thank you. And thank you, Mario. Rosy, just one comment. Este it que aparece en, en aquí, I need it immediately. El it lo vamos a reemplazar por la palabra que necesite. Así como ahí sería, I need the inventory now. Porque el it solo es para, lo puede sustituir por la palabra que, que sea necesaria. Así que sería, I need the inventory now. Now. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá, Daisy, I need to sleep as soon as possible. Uh -huh. Solo falta la preposición to ahí. Y ahí está bien. I really need vacations. Uh -huh. Yes, Marcel, that one is also urgent. Or I need to go to the bathroom now. So that is urgent. Okay. Rene, are you ready or Nehemias? Uh huh. Yes, Vladimir, it's also correct. Okay. Uh, yes. Nehemias or Alberto, Rafa. Uh huh. Yes, that one is good. As soon with double O. I need your report immediately. Mm -hmm. So you can use the phrases, include or add the phrases in your sentence and you are going to state or indicate urgency. Okay, that is what you are doing. Do you have questions? Is there something you would like to ask about this? If not, we practice a little bit more. Okay, so let me share the book again. We will continue here. Okay, look at the instruction. It says, read the email and organize the activities. Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Vamos a leer el email. Y vamos a ordenar las prioridades. Ahí están las palabras de urgencia, pero tienen que ustedes decir cuál es la primera, siendo la número uno la más importante. Ok. And then the second one, third one, and fourth one. Is it clear? Do you guys understand the activity? Yes. Yes. Okay, and when you finish, send me the, the, the answers. Cuando ya terminen, me mandan las oraciones by chat on a private message. Okay, so I'll give you time so you can analyze the, the email.
teacher. Yes. For example, the priest is the really need you to contact the first the first three potential customer in the in this from Mr. Sanchez. I'm sorry, Alberto. Can you repeat the question? I understand that it's about the three potential customers. Yeah. Yes, for for example, number one, uh, the first is uh, I really need you to contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, I need to call the new client. Oh, well, that is the second the one for you. Because, sorry, I don't understand the, the question that you're asking. What is the question about number one, Albert? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Porque no, no logro entender cuál es la duda que tiene. The ¿Cuál es? No, no. Uh -huh. O me está dando uh -huh. la respuesta. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. All right. Tell me. Number one for you is this. Call the potential yeah. customers. Uh -huh. Ok. That's number one. Number two. What will be the second activity for you? Last three week and give them. The one here to call the clients. Uh -huh, to call the client for me. For you, uh -huh. number three. What is the next one? The third, the third activity. What is the next one, Albert? Is the South South Report? The report. South Report. Okay, thank you. The one here, the reports, that's number three for you. Okay, and the last one, the stores in Santa Tecla. The stores. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, thank you, Alberto. We will check. Okay, Nehemias, what about you? What is the most important activity for you? And the first, uh, send the two la uh, latest sales report on my 26th and the write a new welcome letter for the new customers. And the second, call the new client from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for you. Uh, uh, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla and for contact the first three poten potential customers in the last list from Mr. Sanchez. Okay, Nemias, thank you. So. Again, the first one for you, the most important activity is the one about the reports. Yes. Because he only has one day and he only has four hours. Yes. That yes. is why for you. Okay, thank you. We will compare, we will continue checking. Let's okay. see, Katya, what about you? Just the first one, Katya. What is the most important activity for you? Um, send the two last, last sales reports, reports. The same one. The same. Uh -huh. Solo tiene 
one day and four hours to do it. Only one day. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Is there somebody who has something different? Hay alguien que tiene otra en, en, la, en primer lugar? Trossi. Uh -huh. Teacher, yo yes. tengo las, las mismas. Eh, la número uno, very important to send the two sale reports. Mm -hmm. eh, la número dos, call the client from the last three weeks. Number three, ahí lo tengo diferente yo. To contact the first three potential customer in the last from Mr. Sanchez. Y number four, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. Okay, thank you. But number one, for sorry, the clients, the one about calling the clients, he has two days, but he only has one hour each day. So a total of two hours only. And for the reports, he has four hours. Yes, Katia? Sí, ya, ya le entendí que es en base a, a las horas, no los días. No, no, it could be, it's depending on the perception, I will say, in some case. But yeah, I was thinking about the hours. Puede ser la percepción. Siempre que, que hago este ejercicio, todos tienen un punto de vista distinto. It's okay. Yo lo tomo en cuanto a las horas. Like he has, or this one, he only has two days, one hour, right? Pero acá solo tiene un día. He only has one day to do it. And he has four hours. So it's okay. It's okay, Katia, no problem. Let's see, um, Vladimir, what is the second, the second most important activity for you? Pues está evaluando las dos cosas. Porque está viendo la, por las 10 y horas uh -huh. y también por la importancia del mensaje que realmente ah, eso por eso también. las necesidades de... Uh -huh. Ok, ¿y entonces? Entonces, de, de la primera forma, por fechas y horas, uh -huh. este, es muy importante to the two ladies self report. The sales report sería la, uh -huh. la number two. La primera. Ah, oh, la primera. La primera. La uh -huh. segunda sería este. Eh, llama a los clientes. To call the clients. Uh -huh. Two days to do it. Sí. One hour. That's your number two. Uh, la tercera. Okay. I really need your you to contact y la última visita a los a dos tiendas two days two hours okay thank you Vladimir and let's see Rafa and you what is the third for you the third most important the fourth um sería The send the reports. That's your number four. Or the number one. The number one. Ah, number one. Uh -huh. Yes. Write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it for hours. Mm -hmm. is okay. first. Number two, call the new clients from the last three weeks and give the catalog. Catalog. If that one Cata sounds different. Catalog. Cara catalog. Catalog. Yes. Okay. Catalog information. You have uh -huh. two days. Uh, number uh, three, uh -huh. uh, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Visit the stores. Yes. And uh, okay. number four, 
contact the customers. Contact customers. Okay. Thank you, Rafa, for, for your info. Okay, so it depends on your perspective. It depends on the perspective. It could be uh, different, the, the level of importance. But yeah, I consider the hours in my case, not the days, just the hours. So yeah, for me, the first one was this one, to call, to call clients. And then, which one you have today? Two, two hours. I will say that it's the one, this one visit here. Aha, uh -huh. visit the stores, right? Today is only two hours, but it depends on you. Okay, but thank you. Era bastante de pensar ese, de meditar, analizar, to find the answer. Okay, what are we going to do next? Now we will use the paragraphs. The paragraphs that you created, you have to read them, but include or introduce expressions of urgency. Okay, van a leer sus párrafos, pero les van a incluir expresiones de urgencia. Okay. Tienen que medio modificarlos agregando expressions to state urgency. Okay. I'll give you a moment when you're ready, you're ready. Cuando ya estén modificados, lo pueden comenzar a leer for the class. If you have a question, let me know. Si hay algo que no se entendió, me avisa. Let's speak up. Yo no lo entendí, teacher. Ah, ok. El párrafo que crearon anteriormente. Yo les pedí que crearan un párrafo con, su, con sus actividades que hacen en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Ahí lo tienen. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Ese mismo párrafo tiene que ahora modificarlo y agregarle expresiones de estas que estamos aprendiendo. Tiene que modificarlo, Rosy, y agréguele expresiones de urgencia dentro de él. Solo que usted tiene que decidir cómo agregárselas y luego va a leer ese párrafo. ¿Sí? Ok. Ajá. Okay, good. I'll try to give you an example. Okay, maybe it could be similar to the one that you see here. Tal vez puede ser un modelo este que ven acá, el email. Sin, sin ponerle la hora. Solo con las oraciones. That could be an idea. As much as possible, lo que sea posible, ¿verdad? Si no se puede en todos lados, it's understandable. Solo donde lo vean pertinente.
How are you doing, Vladimir? Have you finished? Yes. yes. Okay. Can you read your paragraph, please? Okay. But, um, hello, my name is Vladimir. I work in a building from America. It's mm -hmm. a big bank. Uh, I'm great place to work in Promerica. I am supervision external agents. Every day I need to check the email for the company because I very important, not what the events are. After that, I call the agents to know the early. Normally my job is very easy, but I really need to very offer no, oh, hours of the operation. Mm -hmm. Very good. I could hear the, the expressions of urgency inside the paragraph and they were well applied. Mm -hmm. Like two I heard, but you said I need two. And then the last one that you said, I really need to. Uh -huh, because it's not possible to use in the whole thing, right? But at least one or twice. Oh, just the pronunciation, Vladimir, agents. That is the, the correct pronunciation, uh -huh, agents. Thank you, Vladimir. And Joa, the one that you sent is, is good. Okay. Thank you for sending it uh, by chat. Rene? Can you continue? Can you read your paragraph, please? Sure. Um, well, uh, I work from home, so I get up at 4.30 a.m. And as soon as, as soon as that I wake up, I just turn on my PC because I start to work at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, the first important activity that I do is check the emails for the day before. Normally, I answer that one sometimes do if the, my, my other partner doesn't answer them, then I do it that one in the morning. Um, sometimes I need to attend a meeting at 9 a.m. It is really important to me to send the reports every hour since that I need to to, to give uh, like checkpoints about the process or how we are doing so far. So I send it that one every hour and it's hardly ever that I take my break before 11 o'clock and occasionally I end my tour at 3.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, Renee, thank you. Thank you for the the paragraph and the expressions of frequency, well, or urgency in this case. Okay. Who else is ready? We will hear some paragraphs because we don't have enough time for all of them, but we have time for some. Sulma or Katya, are you ready? Sulma, do you have it? And then we listen to Katya. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I work in offices. I am planning assistant. Very mm -hmm. important. I check emails. I always uh, answer the sample. Mm -hmm. General, I attend meeting in the morning. Gen uh, uh, pardon. Attend meeting in the morning. To Wednesday and the Thursday. Sunday in the afternoon, we usual celebrity birthday. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sulma. Did you use the frequency, the, uh, the expressions? No sé si yo no la escuché. Utilizó, las agregó. Uh, solo very important. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, Sulma. Thank you. Katia, yes, please continue. Ok. Voy a estar viendo adelante. Ok. My name is Katia. I need to get up 
at or I am. I go to the work and I I sit in my chair. I work immediately. Immediately. In. Mm -hmm. in immediately. 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 Work on my computer. It's mm -hmm. very important. Check my email and answer the answer. I uh -huh. only have a cup of coffee in the morning and I prepare reports and I usually finish me, my activities at 5 p.m. Okay, Katia, thank you. Just immediately, right? That is the difficult part to say. Can you say it one more time? In, in immediately. In me immediately. In, in, immediately. In, <laughs> yes. Para se lengua. <laughs> Kinda. Okay, Katia. Thank you. Uh, yes, Rafa. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, hello. My name is Rafael. Mm -hmm. I work in a department computing. Every day, my coworkers always need reports at yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's really important that your equip, equipo, no sé, equipo, Team. teams, mm -hmm. eh, no, de computadoras. Computing, ah, equipment. Computing, equipment. Equipment, uh -huh. equipment is working well. Mm -hmm. That's it. Finish. Ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> we have room for one, one more reading. Tenemos espacio para uno más. Is there someone who would like to read it? Nehemiah, as I saw it here, I saw you send it by chat. I read it. It's perfect. Joan, I have it here too. Uh, so is there anybody be. else? Okay, please, Alberto. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Albert. A uh, really one I do in my work is to review security cameras as soon as possible there because it's very important. I see my cell phone for something new and I really have to be a word. You have to be? I have to be. A word, a, a word. A, what do you want to say? Um, a. Aha. Uh -huh. Spell. Able. A B L. How do you say the letter? The letter W B. Ah. A W B A R E. Aware. No. Aware. Ah, okay. I think. A W and then A W A R E. Aware. Uh -huh, like this. Yes. I have to be aware. Yes. Aware. Okay. That's it. <laughs> it's over. That's all. Ah, okay. All right. I thought you were going to read more. But yes, Nelson, it's also correct. Thank you for reading it. And if you haven't sent it by chat, send it to me on, on the group, okay? Si no lo han enviado en el chat, me lo pueden mandar en el group. Okay, that's, that's all right. Um, I'm going to take the attendance one last time before you guys go. So first, Daisy Mesquita. Present. Thank you, Doris Guevara. It is Joanna. Okay, thank you. Then Jennifer Marcela. Present. Thank you, Jose Mario. Present. Present. Thank you, Katia. Lizette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Okay, thank you. Mauricio Castaneda. Then Minette Rivera. Nehemias Regalo. Present. Okay, thank you. 
Alberto. Alberto. Nelson Present. Alberto. Present. Thank you. Nelson René. Present. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you, Rafa. René Guardado. Rina. René. René, do you hear me? Yes. Yep. Ah, okay. Ro Rosy Meléndez. Vladimir. Present. Vladimir Antonio. Ok. Yanira Cepeda. Present. Zulma Lorena. Ok. Thank you. So, Nehemias, is it possible for you to, to stay today for the session? I forgot to send it by, by chat on the WhatsApp group, but can you stay today? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, guys, I wanted to show you something. No sé si me va a dar tiempo. Quería hacerlo un poquito antes. But I wanted to teach you the TH sound. Quería que aprendamos un poquito el TH sound before we go. So maybe I'm going to tell you a little bit today. And tomorrow we, we have more time for this. Okay, so the TH sound has two, two different sounds. One sound is voiced and the other one is voiceless. El TH sound tiene dos pronunciaciones. Está el que es como silencioso y el otro que sí, sí se dice. Eh, que se llamaría voice. Voice, son el, el que sí se escucha. Y voiceless es el que no se escucha como silencioso. TH, cuando se pone al principio, es voice. And we have some... Examples. Mm. And, see. Okay, so I wanted to teach you how to make it. Quería eh, explicarles un poquito cómo se pronuncia porque es un sonido que no tenemos en español. Entonces, por eso cuesta a veces hacerlo. Cuando va al principio es, es llamado... Voiced. Ahí sí, se, sí suena. Ok, ¿cómo se hace? Voy a tratar de describirlo y luego voy a decir las palabras. Tienen que colocar como the top of your tongue, la, como su, una parte de su lengua en la parte superior de su boca, como atrás de sus dientes superiores. Y luego de hacerlo, tienen que decir la palabra como da thousand, y siempre la lengua va a ir atrás, thousand, thin, thought, no es t, no es de thousand, no es thin, no es thought, es un sonido distinto, por el tiempo creo que sí, mañana sí voy a hacer más tiempo para que ustedes aprendan a hacer este sonido y lo mejoren, ok, y les voy a enseñar el que es voiceless también que va al final, It goes at the end, okay, para que mejoren su pronunciation. Okay, les voy a dar ahí unos tips. But because of the time, I'm, I'm going to stay with Nehemiah's, and tomorrow I'm going to make more time. Do you have questions? Questions? Yo tengo una. Yes, Katia, dime. Estaba viendo este, eh, la plataforma, uh -huh. eh, la actividad del día de ahora. Yes. Y quisiera saber la diferencia de, de I need y I have to. Porque... Ah, mañana, mañana es de eso la clase. Si quieres, deja oh. esa, esa tarea de ahora para mañana. Porque, ya ah, ya. <risa> ok. Uh -huh. sí, pero, pero mañana de eso. Uh -huh. De eso trata la clase okay. de mañana. Sorry, sorry okay. que está ahora y mañana lo vamos a ver. Okay, so guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a good night. Nice to see you here. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, bye, -bye teacher. Bye bye. Bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you tomorrow. See you.
Okay, Nemi. Hi. So, Nemi, and tell me, Hi, how people. would you like to spend the, the next 10 minutes? What would you like to practice? Would you like to have a conversation to reinforce a topic, pronunciation? What do you prefer? Yo siento lo que me cuesta es el, el entender cuando, cuando lo escucho. Uh -huh. eh, hay indicaciones, bien. sí, hay indicaciones que sí le comprendo, pero hay indicaciones en las que uh -huh. solo asociando el contexto puedo entender. Ah, ah ok. Mm, mira, Nemias, para el listening. Lo que yo le puedo recomendar es que usted trate de practicar con extra activities. O sea, por ejemplo, mire películas en inglés, <coughs> oiga canciones y apréndase la letra. O sea, como que vaya viendo la letra, ¿verdad? Y las cante. También, este, si le gusta, no sé, oír la radio, no sé si tiene así como en, en inglés también, pero sí el listening solo con, tiene que escucharlo, oírlo y oírlo y oírlo y con la práctica va a ir mejorando y a veces creo que quizás yo quizás muy rápido lo hablo y tengo que siempre ir más como slowly, que siempre es algo que intento pero a veces se me va, ajá. Pero sí, poco a poco Nehemia su listening va a ir mejorando, pero toma tiempo. Y eso le puedo recomendar que trate de, de no sé si le gusta ver películas, póngalas en inglés, porque el oído se familiariza con los sonidos. Como no es el lenguaje de uno, tiene que estarlo oyendo y oyendo. Así que eso, eso le recomiendo para mejorar el listening. Ok. Y por lo demás, eh, siento que sí le voy entendiendo bastante bien. Eh, porque sí siento que he avanzado. Sí, he avanzado. usted es bien inteligente. Siento que no le cuesta mucho. Y también de que pone atención. Lo veo que siempre está así, analizando todo. Y eso es muy bueno. Me ayuda. Pero ya, va a ver, ya vamos a empezar a ver otro tiempo, creo que el jueves, si no me equivoco, ya empezamos a ver otro tiempo, ya va a empezar un poquito a cambiar todo. Así que va a ir sirviendo esta base, ¿verdad? Que, que uno lleva ahorita. Entonces, si usted quiere, podemos tratar de hacer una conversación, una conversación en inglés. O no sé okay. si quiere que le explique algo en específico, o lo del pH, no sé. Eh, quizás sí, lo del TH. Lo del TH. Estaba bien, sí. Ah, ok. So, bye. Sí, siento que así solo con uno es más fácil porque puedo escucharlo bien y oírlo. Vaya, el TH es un sonido que a veces cuesta hacerlo porque en español no lo tenemos. Tiene que poner su lengua en la parte de atrás de su boca. Como, casi como T, pero no terminamos la T. Entonces ya sería V, thousand, thin, thought. Thought. No es T, thought, porque va atrás, va atrás de los dientes. Thought. Ok, can you try to say it? Sí. Thousand thing ta. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver con otro. Let me add other ones. Give me one moment. Okay. Okay, so we have think, thesis, think. Can you try to say it? Think, 
This is think. Think. Entonces think. siempre la T que hacemos acá se lleva como a, por el interior, no think, sino que es think, think. como empieza atrás. Think. Ajá. Think. think. This is think. This is think. Uh -huh. Que fuera diferente si yo dijera think, this is think. No sé si logra diferenciar que no se pronuncia igual. Sí, es que en español como que en los dientes eh, la, se pone la lengua. Uh -huh. Con la T. Okay. Ajá. Pero con la TH es como que va atrás. Think. Sí. Sí, Ajá. como Thesis. pronunciando Z. Ajá, podría ser como quizás la Z, parecido a la Z. Sí, sí. sí. Ajá, porque viene como sí, de... Sí. Think. Think. Ajá. En cambio, cuando va al final, es como que fuera una T, pero que no se completa. Voy a ponerlo acá algunas. Ok, ha. Entonces, cuando uno hace este, vas a como que sacar aire, siempre con así, ha. Es como que pa. la T no se completa, se queda como en intermedio, ha. Y queda pa. uno como sacando aire por la parte de arriba de los dientes. Ha. Pa. Pa. Ajá. Month. Bow. Can you say them? Pat. Mm -hmm. Pat. Month. Bow. Mm -hmm. Yo escucho que lo dice bien. Siente que cuando lo termina de decir, termina como saliendo aire de la parte de sí, arriba. Correcto. Ajá. Hacia arriba. Sí. Bow. Correcto. Pat. Y queda como. Como sin nada de sonido, ha, solo como aire, ¿verdad? Como, or month, y se acaba month. como en, ajá, bow. bow. Entonces, ese es el sonido th, cambia un poquito cuando va al principio y cuando va al final. Thousand, thin, thought, think, thesis, path, path, month. Oh. Oh. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. So it's, it's a little bit, a little bit different. Hay diferentes sonidos que, que hay aquí en inglés. Voy a tratar de enseñarles algunos, los más comunes o los que okay. se confunden más. Uh -huh. Pero so, sí es bastante uh -huh. comprensible, eh, TH. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Y, y siento de que es uno de que es importante porque es bien común el TH. Hay un montón de palabras que van o terminan así. A veces los que cuestan son los que llevan como R, que llevan así, como esto. O oh, no, así. Son otros, otros todavía, otras pronunciaciones. Aunque siento que no son tan difíciles, o no sé si por la práctica, Ajá. que es como shrink, shrink, shred. Shrink. Es como ese H y una shred. Shrink. Ajá. Shrink. Shred. 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 Uh -huh. Entonces, eso es lo que más o menos planeo, de que poco a poco les voy a ir dando diferentes palabras, diferentes okay. sonidos. Para que ustedes, aunque no conozcan las palabras, por ver cómo inicio termina, ya tienen una idea de, de cuál es la pronunciación okay. de ellas. Ajá. Ok. Ok, Nemia. So, I think we will stop here. I don't know if there is something else to maybe. No sé si tendría alguna duda más. O eh. algo que necesite, comentarios. No, no, pero sí este, tomaré en cuenta la recomendación de la, de uh -huh. la canción, porque yo casi siempre paso escuchando canciones, así que creo que sí. 
Ah, sí, en inglés. Eh, no, normalmente en español. Ah, Spanish. Sí, tiene que oír cosas, Nemias, para que su listening mejore. Así okay. que todo lo que sea audio en inglés tiene que estarlo oyendo lo más seguido que se pueda. Porque es como, como el oído de un bebé que empieza a oír sonidos y los va como que convirtiendo o entendiendo. Entonces así es con el inglés. Tanto oír lo mismo, se le van a ir quedando palabras. Y ya okay. su, su listening va a ser más como refinado. Así que trate de, de buscar todo lo que sea audible y que le llame la atención. Porque si lo hay aburrido, no va a ser útil. Tiene que okay. ser algo que Perfecto. sea interesante. Sí. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you for staying, Nehemias. We will stop okay. here. I hope I can see you tomorrow in the class again. Okay. okay. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye.